All right, come on in. Let's go. Let's talk about uh, interviewing. I'm Ron Cooper uh, with the Cooper Culture. One of the services we offer is to help you uh, present yourself in the best possible way in an interview. In an interview, what the company is looking for is the best and most qualified person for the job. One of the ways that you can set yourself apart is uh, total preparation. We're going to uh, put this in a three-part series, the first part being the pre-interview, the next part will be the interview itself, <clears throat> and then uh, the third is going to be the post-interview. I think it's very important that uh, we address all three aspects of interviewing to help set yourself apart. I can almost guarantee you, if you follow through on everything, you are going to be in at least the top 10%, maybe the top 5%, or even 1%. But let's start off with uh, uh, the pre-interview process, knowing the company. You want to study everything you can about the company. You want to know the headquarters, approximately how many people there are. I recommend you study the leadership so that you know uh, who the president, vice president, and the various folks are. There's almost always a biography for each of the people who are in the leadership of that company. You may come across something that uh, you identify with, a, a person in the company whose background is uh, somewhat comparable to yours, or in some way you identify with that person. I recommend that uh, you just make mention of that, that you know this person, uh, or you have a similar background of someone in the company. Know the number of employees, know the type contracts or the type work they do. All that is leading up to knowing that the company is financially stable and uh, they have a good reputation. And uh, if, if you were to choose to uh, work with them, you have a pretty good basis to know that uh, the company is going to be in, in existence for a while. Strongly encourage you to uh, learn about the interview process. Know from, uh, I would recommend you talk with a talent acquisition manager or whatever the title is of the person in human resources and ask them what uh, you can expect to be the interview process. When to report, when do you anticipate uh, making a decision uh, for hire, and uh, what is the process by which, you, by which you let the person know whether they have been selected or not? Do you notify the person either way that you are or are not selected? So go into it uh, knowing uh, what the interview process is. So some other things, uh, I'm interested in knowing what the retention rate is of the employees, that if it's very low, if it's below 50%, what that means is they have a fairly high turnover in people and you may expect that uh, um, uh, even though you get selected for employment, you may only be there for a year or possibly something less than that. So just um, uh, know what your expectation is, what is uh, very realistic. I, I, I will strongly encourage you to know about the company culture. Uh, that, is a, uh, that is one of the attributes that you want to know about because uh, you will like or not like employment with this company, knowing the people, the culture, and the culture meaning just the overall environment. Is it one that's very friendly or is it one where people are just a bunch of individuals working in cubes where you rel uh, rarely uh, speak with each other? I'm going to recommend and uh, definitely you want to know what uh, is normal, what is expected for company dress. And that is dress in accordance with uh, the style of the company. You can overdress and it's not going to hurt you to overdress, but if you are representing their uh, dress decorum, you're going to present uh, just a better image than that. Uh, it presents the visual image that, yes, you're dressing like you fit in right with us. Definitely do not underdress. Recommend you shine your shoes and um, all those uh, type things. You, you know what it is that uh, exactly what uh, you're expecting. And uh, so learn everything you can about the, the company. Here's one thing that you need to know. Keep in mind, you have the right to refuse this company if they offer you employment and you say, no, you're not the right company for whatever reason you determine. So have your um, uh, criteria in line. You're not being arrogant at all, but you know about the company. You are comparing them with what your standards are and you can make the decision that 
if it turns out to be this way, that uh, thank you for this opportunity, but uh, I don't think you're the best company for me. So come on and join me on the second part of this. Let's talk more about the interview process itself. And um, here again, you can set yourself apart. Come on in for part two.